Hawaii Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Maga Nerdigan Live Reaction video is going to be for Kingdom Chapter 658. So last chapter was really the turning point in this battle um, for the kin side because, um, because Manu really really provoked the fuck out of Mobu with uh, the talk of liberation. And what was like, nah, -uh, I ain't abandoning nobody, especially my king. So fuck off. And he uh, started getting pumped up. And then um, we got shit going on on Gome's side of the battlefield. And then, and then Tao. Oh, I can't wait to see what's gonna go on with Tao when he gets to when he gets to Joku. That is gonna be really interesting. And I can't wait to find out if. Um, if they're gonna turn or not. I hope they do. I hope they come with us. I really, really freaking do. Anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. Here they come! Um, uh, there are archers too? Ooh, here we go. Uh, Juko Fortress! Incoming! Fall back! Oh, what? The enemy is already on the ramparts? Yeah, they are. What's going on? Go, 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 go! Get in there! Force them back! Yeah, they're already falling and shit. This is great. We already got the towers. Oh, this is great. Um, arrows, um, arrows fly, spears thrust, and swords slash on this battlefield atop the wall. Yes, they do. Um, keep advancing. What's that? Sorry, the ring's a little small, so you gotta bear with me here. Uh, don't stop there. Uh, get inside. There's so much phrasing. Um, oh, stop them, push them back. And this chapter is titled, Be Ready. Go, up, go, push them back. Yeah, it ain't happening, dude. Damn it, the archer's up there killing us all. Aim at that archer unit. What? Good luck, you ain't stopping them. Stop, oh, kill them, push into them, push. God damn, that sounds so bad. My mind is in the gutter, all right? Go, go. Damn, it's no good. They just keep climbing up. Uh, climbing up. Do something about that siege tower. Ugh. All right, it's latched on. Now pull. Uh, it's just a flimsy tower. Let's bring it down. Oh. Whoa. Left side pull. Oh. Pull. Oh. Ha. Um. Ha. Homemade skinny looking tower sure has an interesting design. Emisama, the cavalry. Emisama, the cavalry are all in place. It won't be long until the gates open, and it will fall to us to bring down Juko. Uh, oh, this is gonna be good. Ooh, God, I gotta say, from above, uh, from bird's eye view, this pattern, this battle pattern, looks so fucking cool. It really does. Oh God, it looks awesome. Um, damn it, stop him! Far, far, far! Kill Tao! Two! Let him go! You are messing with the wrong mofo. Oh, try and stop him if you dare! For, um, forward, we're almost to the headquarters! Faru! Hmm? Ooh, what? An arrow? Tell some of fear! You almost hit the mustache! Oh my god, if you would have fucked, if you fuck with the stash. Well, there are gonna be problems. Tao will not, he will not tolerate that shit if you come for the stash. Um, Tao-sama, fear not. He, um, if you know the arrows are coming, they'll never hit you. He dodged it? So, Tao knows where I am. Uh, Hak Akure-sama. Shall we change locations? There's no time for that. <laughs> no, there isn't. It's fine. Uh, Koyoku gives chase. I caught up with you, bastard. Kill him! Uh, behind us, Koyoku is approaching. That troublesome young man caught up with us. Uh, bah, don't go yet. Uh, don't go yet, Tao. Uh, our duel isn't over. Damn, send ten cavalry to hold him back. Wait. Hmm? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Foo. Not you again. Yeah, Chicken Man, aka Robbie Haku, is here. Uh, all right, uh, Koyoku has been intercepted by Robbie Haku. Uh, get out of the way, dude! I'm sorry, Robbie Haku just makes me think if Robot Chicken was in 
was in war. <laughs> so Rami Haku. Rami Haku makes me think of robot chicken. It totally does. Onward, let us crush their headquarters. Yes, sir. Um, Jukosama, uh, we're at our limits. So let's fall back for now. If that doesn't work, um, have Mono come as soon as possible. Uh, Jukosama? We're, re we're retreating? What? Retreat for now, so we can regroup? No, let's fall back to the castle. The castle? But retreating? It's our only choice. Manu is acting strangely. Normally you would strengthen the vanguard and pierce through, just like Sentuan does. He's not... He's not doing that this time around. In fact, he's even letting the enemy push him back. Mana's not even doing half as much as what's expected of him. Genu and uh, Zentuan alone aren't enough to win. This Kin Wei combined army is quite the opponent. Truly beyond expectations. I never thought they'd bring that... Uh, I never thought they'd bring that out in Manu. If we lose because of Manu's poor condition, our invisible Juko will... Invisible or whatever, none of it matters. We were never meant to protect it in the first place. Huh? However, it looks like Manu, who became empty after losing it all, is finally changing. That's... I'm telling you, Manu, they're coming with us. I'm telling you, they are coming with us. That's far more interesting to me than the outcome of this battle. I'm telling you, they are coming with us. They are. They're going to turn, and they're coming with us. I'm calling that shit. I've been calling that shit. Um, and the one who's unquestionably dr uh, the driving force behind this change is Mobu. Manu might have met, uh, met the first real man since that fateful event changed him. Perhaps you're reminded of uh, the man you used to be. Oh, man. If Mobu reminds Manu of the man he's, um, he used to be... Oh, wait till he meets Osid. <laughs> Shit! Dude, that's gonna be epic as fuck if, if Manu comes with us. I want them to be in the same room. Seriously, it just needs to happen. Because you're because you're not so different, Manu. Uh, you and Mobu. De uh, definitely. Definitely. God, and I gotta say, Hara, this panel is just... Mm, heaven. Uh... Momosama! Monosama! Mobu, I, um, I still don't know what burden you carry. If it's a dead person's legacy, it will make you forever more powerful. However, if your burden uh, comes from the living, there's a single uh, thing you must be ready for. That you may be betrayed by it! Woo! Quit spouting nonsense! <laughs> Monosama, dude, you just had to keep pushing his buttons, you asshole. Like, you had this coming. You had this coming. You had to keep pushing that man's buttons. You did. Dude, look at Sentuan. Sentuan's just having a fucking blast. And that's why I love Sentuan so much. Oh, God. It's bringing out the sadist in me. It's, it's awful that it's bringing out the sadist in me. <laughs> Uh, Jukuo-sama, the biggest flaw in Jukuo's strategy was Manu's strange behavior. Sound the gong of retreat, sir. However, he made one more miscalculation. Let's go. And that was good. And that was that Gome left the main attack in the hands of Tao's overwhelming offense. Yee! Dude, I cannot wait for Tao to talk to Jukuo. I'm telling you, that is going to be so good. That's gonna be so amazing. When Tao talks to Jukuo, it's gonna be fantastic. And I said this last week, and I'm gonna bring this up again. I feel like the um, ongoing theme here, or the underlying theme of this battle, is having something to fight. Well, yeah, morality, of course, and um, and also where you have on the kin side, they have something to fight for. They do. They have their kingdom, the, their king that they're fighting for. And on the other side, oh, yeah, you got the politics and all that shit, too. But on the other side, they really aren't fighting for anything besides, you know, their base. They're more fighting for the fun of it, <laughs> if you think about it. And 
you really see the effect of it here in terms of um in terms of Manu. Manu really doesn't didn't really have anything he was fighting for. That's what it really seemed like to me. It, based on especially based on what Jukuo said. And in Sentuan's case, we don't know that much about Sentuan. Sentuan I think is just having more fun than Manu is. Sentuan's just having a blast. I can't wait to see what's gonna go down with Sentuan and Gome. That's gonna be so interesting. Um but to me, I think the best part of this arc is going to be Tao and Jukubo's conversation. It really will. I can't wait to get to it's gonna be very philosophical and deep. But yeah, this chapter definitely proved my point of what I of what I thought this underlying theme was about morality and having something to fight for and whatnot. Um, but I really love what, what, um, Manu said in particular about, like, being betrayed. It kind of gave us a little bit of insight, um, into what was going on with Manu. Let me just double check something here. I want to make sure I was right on this. I was thinking that that guy in the flashback might be Manu for a second there, but I think that is Mobu. Because if that is Manu and not Mobu, then what happened? Uh, no, I don't think. Oh God, if that is Manu, then what happened with uh, with Manu? You may be betrayed by it. He was betrayed by his waifu. Ooh. And if that's the case, man, that sucks. That really fucking sucks. Yeah, I think that is Manu. Yeah, that is Manu. Dude, poor Manu. He got betrayed by his waifu. So not only did he lose his kingdom, you know, his, his king, he lost his, he lost his waifu, oh man, you know, I totally understand, I understand why he feels so empty, he does, let's be real, he feels empty, he's got nothing to fight for, his, he abandoned his kingdom, or, it, I don't know if it, it's more his, he abandoned his kingdom or his kingdom abandoned him, it's gotta be one, it might be, um, the, where his kingdom abandoned him, it might be the latter more than the former, because because they were just too scared of him, um, turning on him, and then you have his wife who abandoning him. Oh, yeah, this is all bad. You can see why he is so why he's so empty. I'm really curious what you guys think in regards to what Manu said. And do you, can you understand why Manu is behaving so strange, and according to Jukuo, and why he sees himself in Mobu? Because Mobu has what Manu had. Um, he was a strong general. He had um, the support of his kingdom, and Mobu has a family. Whereas Manu lost all of it. He was betrayed by his kingdom. He was betrayed by his wife and lost everything and was broken by it he will the word he would be using is liberated but the real word is broken i'm really curious what you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share um and subscribe to Nerdy Sync if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Kingdom content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.